Hi guys, so I just wanted to update you on Absalom. Basically, the past few weeks, he hasn't been able to move his legs properly. Um, and he's been, like, weaning himself. And took him to the vet, she put him on antibiotics. And um, he got better for a while, and then he just got worse again. And then he got a bit better, then he got worse. He's never, like been like strong at hopping around and he at the moment he's just dragging his legs around um he he could hop the other day but it's weird it goes in like stages like one minute he's fine next minute he's not i've tried looking it up there's all different reasons but none of which really sort of like sound like him he's not an old rabbit at all but basically he can't hop at all now he's just sort of dragging his legs and he can sometimes walk a bit on them not actually hop so i've made the deci decision to um bring him in and i've set up their playpen this playpen is so handy because um i bought it for if i travel with them somewhere or you know if they're ill it's very handy so in here i've got their litter tray hopefully he can get in there i'll have to I'll double check in a minute their water dish, some toys that Alice will play with. They've got a bed over here and I put another like carpet tile down and a blanket just to try and stop it slipping a bit. Um, so yeah, they're in this dining room. And Daisy is round here playing. So that's what that noise is. She's been a nightmare. She's just been eating the rabbit poo so I've been trying to get them in. I'll film a bit now, they're in the kitchen at the moment, uh, just because I'm keeping an eye on them, but hello, there's Alice, confident little bun, aren't you? Yes, um, and then Absalom's here, they've made a huge mess, got to clear that up, um, as you can see his legs sticking out and when they try and make him hop he won't, actually he does look pretty bad here. Um, I've tried to get him to move a bit, uh, but he, he won't. He is still eating, which is good. He's still eating. He's still, like, pooing. So, um, that's good. It's not a digestive problem at all, I don't think. It's mostly to do with his legs. Are you all right, Absalom? Um, and he can't, like, wash his front legs properly because, um, every time he tries to, like, you know, where... Rabbits do that weird thing with their front legs where they like flick them out and then wash themselves. He can't do that because he doesn't have the support of his back legs. Um, yeah, but that's basically what it looks like now. Okay, so I just put them in here. Alice is bored already. <laughs> um, don't know if you can see, but it's sort of like they're flat. He can move it, as you can see. She's... Yes, okay, I'll play with you. Um, I don't know if you can see, but like his legs are quite flat. He can move them, um, they're just so weak and uh, yeah, just a bit worried about him, that's all. Um, so I'll pro what I'll do is, I'll keep them in here for tonight, if he's not better in the morning. Oh, if he's not better in the morning, I'll phone the vets. Um, and what I'll do is, if he's still not better as well and I have to keep him in, I'll um, kind of let Alice out for a run around. He won't want to run around, he'll just stay in there. Um, but I'll take Alice out and she can have a run. Because, I mean, this isn't, it's not tiny, but it's not brilliant. As you can see, she's already annoyed that she's in here. Um, but I don't really have much choice because of him. It is a bit difficult to have a high strung rabbit that's got so much energy and a rabbit that, well he's never had that much energy but um, you know he's got a problem with his legs now. Um, she's only a year younger than him, they're not, you know, and I don't want, I definitely won't split them up so that's why she's in here with them, so yeah. Um, and she's pushed everything around already. Hi 
Hi guys, so I wanted to do an update now as it's been a few months and as you can see Absalom's all better. So what happened was is that I took him to the vet a couple of times then after about a week I put him outside. He was on antibiotics for a week but that didn't really do anything and then he was put on to Wormer for a whole month. Um, and then he slowly started to get uh, strength back in his legs. It turns out that he did have a bacterial infection. Uh, if it wasn't caught in time, he would have been paralysed from the waist down. So um, I'm really happy that we managed to find out what it was. And all he's doing now is regaining his strength. And I'm really happy with it because it means that he's getting better and... He hasn't lost the use of his legs, so um, yeah, I hope this video is helpful to maybe some people where their rabbits have just started to lose use of their legs for no apparent reason, and um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, bye!